So today we're talking about how do you properly configure and set up a FlySky i6, i4, um, or i7 receiver to be able to work with CircuitPython correctly. So I'm going to turn the unit on. I'm going to press and hold OK. Let's actually zoom in on our settings here. And we're going to do some setups here for our controller. Now the intention that we're going to use is we're going to use channel 1 for left and right, channel 2 for up and down, channel 3 is left and right, and channel 4 is up and down. Now for me, I want to use channel 5 up here and channel 6 up here. You can also use channel 5 as a potentiometer or channel 6 as a potentiometer. It depends on what it is you want your robot to do. Uh, in my experience, I like having a master power switch on this side as well as having an additional mechanism on this side without needing potentiometers. So the rest of this tutorial is going to follow along with the assumption that you want these following along. So let's zoom in on our screen here. And I'm going to push and hold OK. First thing I need to do is I need to go into my function setup and I need to check underneath reverse that none of my channels are reversed. Um, that will just give you the opposite uh, setting if you were to say go into another one. Our endpoints, we also want to make sure our endpoints are set at zero or 100%. Um, our display, this is just so we can tell if we were to run through our channel one, channel two, channel three, channel four, channel five, and channel six just to make sure that everything is running as you would expect. Uh, the auxiliary channels is where you actually select the switch you want. So switch B is this channel up here. Switch C is this one up here. And if you were to click and hold OK, or up and down is how you can switch through these. I'm going to choose switch B as my other channel, and I'm going to choose switch C as my channel there. Now to save this, you have to push and hold cancel. And that saves it. Um, sub trim, we don't have to bother with. Uh, exponential rates, we're not going to bother with. Throttle curve mixes, none of this stuff we're going to bother with as well. We're going to go into system setup. Uh, we don't have any of that. Our RX setup, we need to set up our fail safe. So, what we want is our fail safe, is if our robot ever disconnects, we have to make sure that this is the settings it goes back to. And it should be 0% and 0% for channel one and channel two, so that it always runs itself back to the middle. Channel five and channel six should also be all the way down, which is going to be uh, negative 100%, um, because we would like them to not fail. Again, push and hold cancel to save that. Uh, I don't believe there are any other auxiliary switches is where we can turn these on and off. So. If you didn't have that switch B and C settings, typically on these flash guides you have switch A, switch B, switch C, switch D, and then you have VRA and VRB. So these are where you can turn these on and off specifically. I have them turned off because I don't need the settings on. Um, you can actually press cancel. Oops, oops. So let's go back into this. You press OK to work your way through. Up and down turns them on and off and then hold cancel to again save. Um, so I'm going to hold cancel to save that. These are the settings I want. We'll press cancel again, cancel again. And that's it. You're now properly set up to be able to use this flash controller for the rest of our robotics tutorials.